What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out MJF most savage moments. This should be a interesting video. MJF, without a doubt, he is a generational talent. He doesn't have to do a whole bunch of flips and a whole bunch of suicide dives. He knows how to make you feel something. And he can do that just with his promos alone. He's the one person that has been able to make me legit despise him. And that's fantastic because he's the one person damn near keeps kayfabe alive. He's an asshole online. He's an asshole in person. And I love it. it you don't see too much of that in today's wrestling. He is a generational talent. I don't know what they are going to do with him in AEW. I, I, it would be it would be unwise of them to let him go. That's all I'm gonna say. So we're gonna check out some of his savage moments. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 90k. Let's get right into this. CM Punk oh. having an undefeated streak in a string of underwhelming matches against underwhelming opponents made you championship material. I thought that just made you the new Ryback. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've seen uh Christian Cage has become the new asshole on AEW cuz before there was nobody topping him. Oh my gosh. And who is taller than you? And you can't Oh, that. so good, bro. That mother of yours whose basement you live in, she swallows, so. <laughs> He's so if good. If I wanted to hear your opinions, I would turn on TLC and watch reruns of my 600-pound life. So shut <laughs> up. No. Well, you can get thousands of people to tell you to, you know, you know shut the hell up that's when you know you're you got him you got him ah took your ball and went home like a little bitch <laughs> great segment possibly imagine a straight edge man could look so much like a meth addict i'm about to verbally finish you quicker than your ufc career so good so good you can't lay a finger on me and i'm so Sincerely sorry <laughs> about that. Oh my. Time to shine. Cut my music. Cut my music. Oh man. He oh. is a tremendous uniform. Uh, bruh, he, all he has to do is walk out and people just chant asshole. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all can say, oh, I'm D riding, whatever. It's so refreshing to see somebody that gets it. He gets it. He gets the psychology of wrestling. He knows he's a piece of crap. So he's going to amplify that. And he's going to take that to the next level. He's going to have you paying money to see him get his ass kicked. He got it. Hey, I'm, I'm the asshole. Yeah. You people bought a ticket to see me, so shut up. Yep. And He's such an ass. Oh my God! The future face of this company, because God knows a horse can't be the face of this company. Unlike you, Piper was actually talented enough to main event a WrestleMania. <laughs> if I'm not starting to be shown the proper respect around here, maybe I'll main event a Mania too. And hey, here's the thing about that, I. Some people think it's, a, you know, it's a work, and it probably is a work shoot with what they got going on with MJF and Tony Khan. But I don't know, man. I do believe there are some internal issues he's having with Tony Khan and, and how MJF's been there. He had to fight to get his position, and he, there's no question about it. He is, without a doubt, 
a top star in AEW, bro. He is that guy. So he deserves to get paid that guy money. So I don't know. We will see. But AEW has definitely missed him, for sure. There's no doubt about it. If they announce he's coming back, people tuning in, I'm tuning in. It's just what it is. People to understand what I'm saying, since you are all from shit <laughs> I'm looking at you, 16 and pregnant. Shit-Sanatti's <laughs> own Brian Pillman, the loose cannon's daughter. That certainly would explain your vile looks, so... <laughs> With MJF. It's a real shame that your drug addicted mother, Methany. Oh, oh my God, God bro. Do to you what your mother should have done 28 years ago. I am going to abort. Oh, my Nothing God. You know, so man. good. And the best there ever will. Actually, scratch that. That catchphrase sucks. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I want to wrestle a prepubescent teenager, I'm a little busy right now. It's been a great chat, huh? Well, guess what, Cody? I'll give you this. There's one thing about you that's very real. And that's your shitty little lisp. <laughs> He's such an asshole, bro. I love him. I love to hate him. He's such a piece of crap, and I love it. This is... that. I don't even know what to say. I know some, oh, you're not riding him so much. It's fucking MJF, bro. He's so funny in an asshole. Task, Cody. I'm so sorry. Did I offend you, huh, bud? In a lot of pain right now after what happened on Sunday. But all you people want to do is hear me talk, right? Here we go. The infamous, you know, the infamous, the infamous pipe bomb. That's what big merger, boss. The infamous Five pipe bomb. executives here tonight to watch your product. When this company first started, it was all friends wrestling. It's funny. It's funny I hear booze, but I also hear clapping. That's interesting, because I don't want to be here anymore. Mm. You sit there on your phones, tweeting out your opinions. You don't know shit. Oh, it's so good, man. On his condition, we haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. To cut speak. my music, cut my music. Cut his mic. <laughs> his little emo daddy. How you doing, buddy? Good to see ya. Is embarrass the icon in front of all these schmucks. <laughs> and thin. Fat boy, I got the microphone. <laughs> you can hear somebody in the car say, Shut the hell up. And he said, hey, fat boy, I got the microphone. I love it. Luger. Oh. In a <laughs> He's so good. Your daughter swallows. <laughs> you keep your redneck mouth shut while I'm holding the microphone. So here's the deal. Don't say CM Punk's name or I'll knock your teeth down your throat. How about that? <laughs> CM Punk, the guy I beat twice in Chicago, CM Punk? That's CM Punk. Are you still a virgin, brother? Ask your mom, bro. <laughs> Are you still a virgin, brother? <laughs> Vincent Kenny McMahon is willing to shill out more money than my good friend Tony Khan. Mm. Then yes, I would go to WWE. Mm. Uh, here's the thing about that. I don't think that's him being in character. I think that's real. I believe... If the cards are right and the money is there, MJF will leave AEW. He will leave AEW. He will go to WWE under, obviously, certain provisions, probably Cody-like provisions. Okay, of course, he can't say certain things. like He can't curse and stuff like that. But they know the only way MJ work, MJF works is if he's a heel. And y'all already know, my first feud I would have him go against, fucking The Miz. I would love to see that because they both can go. I would love to see the jabs they do. Oh, that would be great. They have to keep him the same. The same way they're dealing with Cody, they would have to do that with him. Or he does not work. So. 
to my gear and wrestle him tonight in an impromptu main event. Is that what you want? Cleveland, I know you're dumb, but I didn't know you were deaf. I asked you a question. I guess the <laughs> only thing you're the best in the world at nowadays is trying to get in Britt Baker's pants. Oh. That's exactly what Britt would look like if you got her in the bedroom. Oh. You ain't CM Punk. You're one pump jump. In your prime, you couldn't lace my boots. And now, with those arthritic hands of yours, oh, you man. couldn't hold my jock. Then, uh, I could take one of those diamond daughters of yours. Oh. It's the big man in the back, too. Make sure he hoards all that money so he can give it to all the new ex-WWE <laughs> guys he keeps bringing in. This is so great. <laughs> This is so good, bro. I want you to understand. He is a piece of garbage heel, and he has the whole entire stadium cheering him because what he was saying is based in reality. What he is saying, people have said. What he is saying, people have observed. So when you're telling a promo and you base it in reality and you're telling the fans what we already know, but no one else is saying it actually on the show, you instantly, you, you instantly, you know, understand you resonate with it. Would you treat me better if I was an ex WWE guy? This is so good. I want you to fire me. You, Mark, that was so good. Y'all know how many times I've watched this promo off off camera, bro. He called the owner of a company a effing mark, bro. He called the owner. He's a billion. He called him a mark, bro. Michael, Mikey, the Mike and Nader, what's going on? The last thing I would want for you, Mikey, is to look back on the night and have any regrets because looking at your face, I'm sure you can already think of one. I mean, you have been robotically oh, so kissing good. ass all over the place, and based on your eyes, if anybody needs to go to sleep, this is PG Punk. Great segment. Because you might as well be coming out here preaching hustle, loyalty, and respect. This is so good. I can see you. You stayed put on that couch for seven long years. Why? Is it because you were too busy making comic books nobody read and movies nobody saw? <laughs> You've been nothing more than second best. Whether it was the you can't see me man, <laughs> king of kings. Oh. Right now, I am standing in the armpit of America known as New Jersey. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, bro. He's such a piece of garbage, bro. Metheny, oh my god, the he's... Floor is yours. Guys, I can't hear Wardlow, can you? <laughs> can we let him try to speak one more time? Alright, screw him, he's not gonna speak. Guys, you don't want me to talk about 2024? That's funny, neither does the guy in the back. Don't worry about oh. it. Oh. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh my god, bro. I think he was in his Yeah, he was in his hometown. This is the only time when he's in his hometown people just they don't care. They love him. They love him. That little line right there, that was a jab. It was another jab. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> don't worry about it. This was great, man. This was fun. This was fucking fun, bro. I, MJF He's a he is a generational talent that deserves to get paid the money that he deserves. I don't know what they're gonna do with him. I don't know, man. He's still in a contract with them, so he can't they he can't really break it. I think his contract don't end until I don't know if it's next year or 2024. I don't know. But either way, man, I I hope they have a plan for him. He needs to be doing something on AEW television at some point hopefully they do because the dude he has it he got it he understands wrestling he does he understands wrestling and 
hopefully we see some more from him and uh it'll be interesting to see if he does win his contract and go to wwe i can see that happening i can see vince throwing top dollar at him i'm talking about major top dollar at him because everyone knows who he is everyone knows what he's capable of on a microphone and he has solid matches he is a piece of garbage heel and you're gonna fans are gonna pay money to see him lose so we'll see but comment down below let me know what's your favorite mjf moment for me it has to be that pipe bomb that that is going to transcend time that is going to be a promo that we look back 10 years from now and be like bro i remember when i saw that oh my god that fantastic but i appreciate all love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace